This video focuses on using chords and chord symbols in Sibelius, and how we can get Sibelius to do a lot of the hard work for us. Here I have a lead sheet with a melody and chord symbols. I've already input the melody into Sibelius, and now need to add the chords indicated by the chord symbols. Ctrl and K adds a chord symbol, and then click on the first bar to place it. I can pretty much just write the chord symbols out as they appear, pressing spacebar to get to the next symbol. Now that I have the chord symbols in Sibelius, I'd like to hear how it sounds. Sibelius has a plugin in the text tab called Realize Chord Symbols. Select Piano, adjust any other of the settings if you wish, and click OK. Sibelius has now written four part piano chords for every chord symbol. Now I can adjust the rhythm if I want to make it more appropriate. I can also orchestrate these chords for other instruments using Sibelius's Arrange function. I'll add a string section. Now I'll select the chord section and copy with Ctrl C. Then select the instruments where I want the chords arranged to, and arrange paste with Ctrl, Shift, and V. This opens the Arrange dialog, which I can use to select the most appropriate arranging style for the instruments I have selected. Most of the time, Explode will be most useful, but since I have a string section, I'll select that option. Now we can hear the string chords with the melody. Remember that you shouldn't rely on Sibelius to always do everything perfectly. The voice leading of the chords may be strange, or the ranges could be off, or it may even have left notes out of the chords. Computers are very clever, but they can also be really stupid. Be ready to arrange chords, move ranges, or arrange it manually if the automatic methods aren't working.